Hello, my name's Sally and I'm your patina artist. Really happy to be working with Chaley Heritage again. I've got some of last year's things behind me in the shed. Now, this year's theme is We Are Making History, A Catwalk Through Time. And have you already seen the patina presentation on the theme? If you haven't, stop watching this and go and watch that first. If you have, brilliant, because today we're going to reveal which era of history Chaley Heritage has got for their costume making. Now, before we start, I just want to say we're doing our very best to make the parade happen as we go down the street. But until then, we're going to make a little miniature version while we're all in our houses or schools. So, this is me. This is a little avatar of me. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to dress up ourselves, our little mini-me's, in costumes of the era. Now, the next thing we have to do is find out which era Chaley Heritage has got. And someone from the school chose an envelope um, which has your theme inside. I'm just going to open it up. Ooh, okay, it's got a little origami dress inside and on the back it says, you have the bronze and iron age. That's a long time in history. I'm sure we can cover it though. Here's a few images of what people looked like in the Bronze and Iron Age. Well, the Bronze Age was mostly hand-woven shifts and cloaks for men and women. Um, and the Iron Age gets a bit more exciting and they're smelting things. Um, we've got something more like this. Lots of shields and spears, um, more warriors. What else have we got? Oh, furs and chain mail starts coming out in the Iron Age as well. And you see all that face decoration. And then we've also got lovely ladies' outfits. You see those? They look a bit like sacks with big sleeves and belts. Also, if you were a noble person in the Iron Age, you'd have a lot of jewellery. They had talk necklaces and all those um, beautiful Celtic designs. So we can have a look and making some um, Celtic symbols to go on your wheelchairs or go above you in the sky. Now, um, after lockdown, um, we're going to have a big event where we'll show our little people. Um, until then, we'd like you to send in pictures and ideas of what we could make. And I'm going to make another little video of how to make those things at home or at school um, and hopefully you can then upload your little avatar and we'll have a virtual parade before the real event but I wanted to oh where's a bit of paper here it is look here's the address the email address to send all your ideas for um, what you might be wearing or have on your wheelchairs in the parade it's Patterner 2020 Chaley at gmail.com. So if you have an idea, if you could get someone to draw it or uh, write it down, take a photo and send it to this email address and I'll have a look and I'll come up with the costumes that you can wear or um, hold or have on display for the mini avatar event and then maybe later for the parade. Brilliant. The deadline for that is the 12th of May. So if you could get all your ideas to me for the 12th of May and then I can um, make another video shortly after that to show you how to make the things. I look forward to working with you. Bye.